Computer Repair Simulator allows you to customize your lab or shop by dropping and picking up items. To do this, go to your inventory, select the item you want to place by clicking on it, then click the drop icon. You'll now see the item shows up in your lab. The red arrows around this object will allow you to position it. So we're going to position this monitor on the desk. Once in position, we can now rotate, pan, or tilt it. These yellow buttons or icons at the top of the screen will allow you to do this. The zero icon resets the orientation and all the axis of the item. So we're going to spin it. And once in position, we can place it. But before we do that, let's cover some of the other movements. We can rotate it and we can tilt it. In order to reset it, click the zero icon to put it back to its defaults. As you're spinning, rotating, and tilting your objects, you can reverse the direction by using the plus or the minus keys next to your backspace. The event window also reminds you of this. So if we press the minus button and we try to spin it, you'll see it goes one way. If we press the plus and we spin it, it will go the other direction. This allows you to easily place objects. So once in position, you'll now see there's two big icons at the top. The first icon will drop the item and it will use collision and will find its target. To do this again, we're gonna pick up the item and to do this, we need to enable the build break icon on the left side of the screen. By clicking on the item, we can't do anything. We need to enable the build break icon. So left click the build break icon, then click on the item you want to pick up, and it now goes to your inventory. We're going to right click to disable it for now, and we're going to place the monitor once more. So we're going to drop it. And to cover these two icons here, if I click the drop icon, it's going to take the item and drop it. Now it collided with the lamp, which is probably not a good example. So let's pick it back up, and we're going to do that once more, except drop it on the floor. Now we're going to see the drop icon. When it drops, it's going to fall and actually collide with something. Let's pick it back up, disable the build brake, and now we're going to use the other option. The second icon will allow it to be positioned exactly where you place it. So if we place it here in midair and we press the second icon, that's exactly where it's going to fall. Again, you can't pick it up until the build break icon is activated. The last step in moving items is collision. So let's take for instance this monitor again and let's put it on the desk. and let's move it down. You'll see it collided with the desk. Now if we want it to go through another object, we can do that by enabling or disabling the collision. The ellipsis icon, when clicked, will confirm that collision is, is enabled or disabled. Right now we have disabled the collision and you can see that this item now moves through any object in the environment. If you re-enable it, the event window will confirm item collision is enabled and if you try to collide it with another object it will actually catch it. So let's move it to where it needs to be. It collided with the lamp so let's disable collision, re-enable collision and we're going to rotate it and now we're going to place it. Now the item's placed. Again, to pick up any item that you've dropped, make sure the build break icon is enabled, and now you can pick up any object in your environment. Before clicking on multiple objects, you need to wait about five, six seconds, so you can't just immediately click on another device. And there you go. This covers the tutorial of customizing your lab.